All right, we'll be looking at International Junior Math Olympiad, and we'll be looking at top five questions. Let's look at the first question. This question says, Mr. Cho received a container of fresh eggs. He sold one over three of the eggs in the morning and sold 320 eggs in the afternoon. At the end of the day, he found that one over four of the eggs were not sold. How many eggs did he receive in the beginning? <clears throat> in fraction, everything is always represented by one, isn't it? So let's say at the beginning, the total number of eggs Mr. Cho received, let it be equal to one. Now, he sold one over three of the eggs in the morning, plus he sold 320 eggs in the afternoon, and at the end of the day, he found out that one over four is still remaining. So if you add the, um, what he sold, which is one over three in the morning plus the quantity he sold in the afternoon and what is left, add up everything, it will give you the total number of eggs which have represented by one, which he got in the beginning. Isn't it? Now to solve further, remember the idea is to find out what the quantity that this one represent so we need to collect like terms 320 is a quantity so it can stand alone at the left hand side but then we need to move one out of three and one over four to the right hand side to meet this one so if you have one move one over four to the right hand side it changes to minus one over four move one over three to the right hand side it will give me minus one over three this makes sense isn't it Okay, so um, 320 equal to the LCM, looking at the right hand side now, of 4 and 3 is 12. 1 into 12 is 12, minus 4 into 12 is 3, 3 times 1, 3, minus 3 into 12, 4, 4 times 1, 4. Alright, so let's complete this fraction. 12 minus 3 is 9. 9 minus 4 will give me 5 over 12 is equal to 320. Alright, now we know the fraction that this quantity represents. That's the idea of what we've done. Now that we know the quantity that the fraction represents, we can now find solve for 1. If 5 out of 12 is 320, remember 5 out of 12 is not up to 1. 12 over 12 is equal to 1. That means 1 will definitely be more. Since 1 will be more, I will divide by the less, which is 5 over 12. 1 divide by the less, which is 5 over 12, times 320 will give me what this man had in the beginning. So, use the concept of KCF. Keep 1, change division to times, and flip this 12 over 5 times 320. 5 year 1, 5 into 32, 6 remainder 2, 5 into 20 is 4. So my answer will simply be the product of 64 and 12. 64 times 12, 2 times 4 is 8, 2 times 6 is 12. 1 times 4 is 4, 1 times 6 is 6. So we have 8, 4 plus 2, 6, 6 plus 1, 7, 768 is the right answer. Interesting question and interesting answer. The next question says there were 400 members in the chess club last year. In mathematics, original amount is always 100%. So I can just say that 100% or let 100% be equal to 400 that's the 400 members right now the number of members decreased by five percent instead of being hundred percent it reduces to 95 percent this year 
how many members are there in the chess club right now so what you simply have now will be 95 out of the 100 that are currently there right now times 400 meters i think this is straight up so that these two zeros cancels these two zeros 95 times 4 4 times 5 is 20 0 put your 2 here 4 times 9 is 36 plus 2 it will give me 38 so the right answer is 380 which is D all right the third question says the letters in the word mathematician we are put in a box. What is the chance of getting letter A? Step 1. How many letter A's do you have here? We have 1, 2, 3. Write it down. 3 out of how many letters are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. There are 13 letters. And 3 out of 13 is the chance of getting letter A. So 3 out of 13 is this option C. Let's look at question 4. A number. This is algebra. The number was not given. So we can let it be any letter of our choice. So let it be X. So a number is added to 3. We have 3. Now plus X which represents the number. The sum of this is multiplied by 5. So the sum of this multiplied by 5. Then subtract when 8 is subtracted from the product. The result is 12. What is the number? I've generated an equation for the number. So 5 times 3 is 15. Plus 5 times x is 5x minus 8 equal to 12. Collect like terms. Organize this. You have 15 minus 8 plus 5x equal to 12. 15 minus 8 is 7 plus 5x equal to 12. Collect like terms. Move 7 to the right hand side. 5x will be alone now. As 7 crosses the equal to sign to meet 12, 7 being a positive number will change to a negative number. So, 5x will be equal to 12 minus 7, which is 5. Now divide both sides by 5. 5 year 1, 5 year 1, 5 year 1, 5 year 1. 1 over 1 is simply 1, so x is equal to 1, which is option E. Question 5 says, A snail fell into a hole that is 10 meters deep. Every day, it would climb 3 meters up, but then it would fall 2 meters down while sleeping during the night. After how many days would the snail climb out of the hole? According to the question, the snail crossed 3 meters per day. So, I'm going to indicate it. It crossed 3 meters per day. Right? But he slips down 2 meters. He slips down 2 meters. Therefore, 3 minus 2, 1 meters. The snake cross 1 meter a day. And in a day, you have 24 hours. Since he moved 3 meters per day in the night, 2 meters down. So that's 1 meters per day, right? So 1 meters in 24 hours. The process will be the same for seven days, and snail will be at seven meters from the bottom, since it's one meter per day. In seven days' time, this snail, snail would have been able to move just seven meters from the bottom. And on the eighth day, the snail will crawl remaining three meters in the day, and will be out of the well. There won't be night on the eighth day. So the eighth day, it will simply crawl the remaining ten meter, uh, 3 meters. Okay? So, it will crawl 3 meters. Remember, it was already at 7 meters. 7 meters plus 3 meters, it would have crawled 10 meters. Remember what I said. This means that snail will not sleep again. Hence, snail will take 8 days to come out of the well. 
This makes sense, isn't it? So this is good IQ questions to test how well you, you can understand a word problem. I said 8 days, not 10 days. Sorry, so the right answer should be A.